Kovac with a big shot. That's a way to open the game for Switzerland. The Swiss aren't just going to let them do that. They're a talented team. Oh, and look at that string music. Marco Melagian. Clock was running down, so really forced with no choice. Andesic puts the Jets on for Serbia. Apic turns around, and there's no defense offered by Switzerland at all. Oh, nice backdoor cut, and one play. Andesic. Couture sets the screen for him. He can't use it, though. Jurkovic. Oh, what a bullet pass inside from Jurkovic. You're in for a surprise. Switzerland lead by three against one of the better teams in the world of basketball. Malagian, long three. Oh, and that sums up the game so far. And that's what he's has to come back. Shot clock drips down to seven. What have Switzerland got now? Turns the corner, draws the foul. Marco Malagian. Eighth point of the game. You see the easy call for the fouls. Rade Zagalat's catch and shoot is no good, but the rebound is batted back, and they'll go again with a new 14. The long three goes up from Avramovic. Pass inside, almost looked like it was too long, but the recovery from Switzerland again is very, very good. Losing to Switzerland at the halfway stage for Switzerland. It would be, uh, well, a fair payoff for the energy they put in. And Ziggy, strong move, uses his pivot well. And the defense from Duba and the rebound from Inziggy is enough for Switzerland. Oh, what a pass, and Kazadi converts. Feels like the Swiss might take a lead into the locker room, and how big could that be psychologically? Zagarac is rejected by Malagian. And the Swiss have moved themselves and the ball well throughout proceedings here. Kovac moves the ball back to Couture for three. And that one drops, and that should not be a surprise. He really has been the orchestrator of so much of the good things that have happened for the Swiss. Shot goes up, tough shot. Oh my goodness, they cannot miss here today. Kazadi, right hand teardrop is good to go. Serbia continued to rely on their quick, fluid movements. Ah, pitch will finish that with ease. Duba. Going to go straight to the bucket on his own and just take the easy reverse layup. Vlamovic now hands it off to Andersic. Nice pass inside to Kravic. And that kind of pass is the big man's dream. Pass to the wing is no good. The rebound is knocked back into the hands of Andersic, who hits the three. No perimeter defense. Although fed the perfect pass, blew the finish. Kazadi hits the two, and Switzerland are rolling. Switzerland with a couple of good shot attempts there. Avramovic hands it round to Apic, and once again, anything good coming from Serbia will put years on you as a coach. Kovac comes back out. Malajan will shoot for three. Wow, that is way, way, way downtown. He's going to be the make or break for them. That would be a sad state of affairs. Pass inside. Once again, Apic just going to work now. Malagin to Marco Malagin. Tries to get inside, has the ball held. Knocks it back to Dusha Malagin, and he hits the three. This is unreal. 50 seconds left in this massive Eurobasket qualifier. Apic goes inside, draws the foul, and one. Trying to tie the game up as well. Really has been very impressive. Apic, the one point two, the one two punch with Avramovic has been the key to S Serbia today. Game clock now at five. Malagian, what's he going to do? Feeds it. Dusha Malagian nails the three. Has there been a bigger shot in the history of Swiss basketball? Ice running through his veins. Absolutely ice cold from the corner pocket. Dusha Malagian. Where's the inbound? Where's the inbound? The lob goes in. It's going to get knocked away. And Switzerland are going to come away with a historic win here 